Alright, hey guys, uh, Mad Max here from Viral Design. I actually already just did this tutorial and it didn't freaking save because I'm retarded. So, I'm gonna do it again for you guys. I'm just that dedicated. Alright. Um, so what we're gonna be going over today is, uh, Sony Vegas and Adobe After Effects workflow. Maybe not how everyone does it, but how I do it. Um, personal experience works great. Um, so, let's get this started show you guys okay so uh, just so you guys know I already did everything in advance all the effects and after effects everything like that all the rendering I did that in advance of this tutorial but uh, I'm just gonna go over how I did it how the how I work all that stuff um, so basically this is how it goes Sony Vegas I use it for cutting clips and editing audio that's it in Adobe After Effects cutting clips is time-consuming and pointless, just pointless when you have access to Sony Vegas, to be completely honest. So pretty much, yeah, editing like this can get it done a lot faster. Um, you can always go back and change things, no worries about that. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Okay, yeah, so let's say you want to render out uh, just this clip because you want to put some effects on it, but you don't know exactly about how to go about doing it, but Maybe you do, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so first thing you want to know is about render settings. You don't want to render as uncompressed all the time. It's during creating an entire montage. It's pointless. It takes up a lot of space. It's slow to edit. All that stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to find out what kind of render settings we need for this clip specifically. So just find the clip. Right click on it like this one I just did on my desktop. You go to properties. And you drag that in. All right, so we got this clip right here or this video, and we say, oh, okay, this one is only uh, 10 megabytes a second, because it's 10, blah, 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 right there. So, uh, so we go, okay, so we go to render settings, once we find out how many, uh, once we find out the bitrate of it, custom bitrate, and we change that M right there to how many uh, megabytes a second it is. Um, and you render it out, so you don't lose any quality, any of that. And maybe just like, if it's like 10 megabytes, put 11 or something like that, just so you know you're extra safe and have wiggle room and all that. So we render that out. Drag in Adobe After Effects. Now here in Adobe After Effects, I rendered it out. I put it in my project window, put it in my composition, added all the effects to it, all of that, and uh, and I'm ready to render it out. Okay, so we've got all the effects, everything like that in here. Just scrub through here. Got a lot of effects on this. Let me just do a little grand preview for you guys. Okay, so that's good enough. So that's what we have. Let's see. So what you want to do is you want to go to composition, add to render queue, and now render it as something that you would remember. So let's say we want to name it, you know. Uh, transition or whatever. So you go save and then you render out of Adobe After Effects. Then what you do is you go back and drag it back into Sony Vegas and I already have mine in here and so now you have your clip in here with all the effects, right? That you wanted. Um, so once you do that you go, you go, oh wow, I do that all the time. What's, what's the difference of doing this? Um, well, the difference is, the way I do it, is that what you can always do is you can save your composition and all your project files and everything like that, and at any time, you can just change the effects in here, let's say turn these off or something, right? Because you don't want those colors or whatever. So you go ahead and you turn those off, and what you do is you go to composition, add to render queue again, and you save it as the exact same file name. Well, now, while this is rendering, do not touch anything in Sony Vegas. Don't even click to it. And just let it render out. And what it'll do is it'll automatically replace the clip in Sony Vegas with the one that you just re-rendered. So you can always go back and change things in After Effects, and then the same change will apply in Sony Vegas. So, I mean, that's how I work. It works fantastically. I save all my compositions in a project file, maybe like four or five compositions, each one having one clip. 
in a single project file and just have like maybe like a hundred project files for a Tosh or something like that. Not a hundred, but you know what I mean, like twenty or something like that. So you can always go back and change them at any time you want. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it. That's how I work in After Effects in Sony Vegas. Uh, you guys should try it out and uh, say in the comments how it worked for you, how you liked it. Um, and go ahead and uh, tell me what other tutorials you'd uh, like to see from me. I'm uh, more than willing to do anything tutorials wise. <laughs> um, intended EP for you guys. So, uh, yeah. Alright.